The IT pathway uh, starts with an interest in technology and, and wanting to kind of get your hands down into it, get dirty. Um, when you start off, uh, it's kind of easy peasy, helping your grandmother or helping your father, your mother, or somebody who doesn't know what they're doing with their cell phones, and it could evolve all the way up into running a database for a Fortune 500 company. Uh, it basically starts out wanting to get uh, your A plus certification. That'll get you a foot in the door 90% of places. Everybody's always looking for experience. And uh, the only way to get that, obviously, is by somebody hiring you. The best way to do that, working towards your A-plus certification, most places look at that like a year of, um, of experience, and they'll at least give you a chance, and that's all you need. You need a foot in the door to show people you've got an interest, you want to work hard for it, and then that'll take you all the way as far as you want to go. I chose the IT program because I have really been invested in computers in my life and all throughout my life I've loved to learn about technology and I knew this program would help me learn more about that. I chose to do the program during high school because I wanted to get my education done as early as possible and to help save money in the long run because taking these courses will help me save money in college later on. So the classes involve doing a lot of hands-on work. So we're gonna start all the way from the basics and build upon that until you are comfortable enough to actually start doing some of this stuff on your own. And hopefully we can practice some of that practically during the class. So um, a day in uh, IT, it, it could vary depending on what your interests are and what you're wanting to go for. Um, it, can, it can start off, like I said, helping somebody set up their email or it could it could involve setting up networks. Um, there's many different paths to go. Um, there's desktop support, there's network administrating, there's systems administrating, telecommunications, there's multiple different paths you can take. My favorite part of the program is meeting other people with the same interests as me. When you're in this uh, local area, most times you might not find people who know all the stuff you know about, and this really helped me find friends that could relate to me. This is something that is uh, directed at uh, a particular interest that you might have. Uh, it's going to save you time, it's going to save you money, and it's, it's going to help you get started where if you start this after school, you're going to have the same experience, you're just going to have a late start on it. So uh, definitely something you want to take advantage of while you can uh, because it is going to help you going forward and you're just going to be a year or two ahead of everyone else. My current role at Ivy Tech is an IT part-time support as an employee here. Um, the professor that I had here temporarily um, in the IT pathway program is the head of the IT department and he recommended me for this job and that's how I led to be working at Ivy Tech now. And I'm doing that while I'm still in high school. These credits do transfer over to a bachelor's degree um, again, saving you time and saving you money uh, so you don't have to get started after you're, in, after you're graduated with high school. You can get started right now and that's going to save you, uh, you know, you could, you could be out there in the field working when you're 20 years old instead of waiting until you're 23, 24 years old. Um, do it while you've got the time to do it now and uh, definitely take advantage of it. Doing this during high school really helps my future because when I end my high school, I will have a lot of credits built up from Ivy Tech that I am going to transfer to Northern Kentucky University and I will continue and get my bachelor's degree in computer science there. So some careers that you will run into, uh, as I said, desktop administrating, land administrating, you know, helping end users, um, network administration, systems administration, uh, telecommunication, setting up phones for different places, databases. Um, you'll find that a lot of these, if you get into the network or the systems administrating, you don't deal a lot with the users but as a desktop administrator or a land administrator, um, those positions are actually about 50-50 on technical um, expertise and then the other half, uh, customer support. So technology is here to stay and um, these jobs, a lot of the entry level jobs, um, you're looking at probably $16, $17 an hour uh, all the way up until, you know, once you get a few years under your belt, even starting a new position, you can do $23, $24 an hour. Um, it, it all just depends on what, what's available. Um, you know, here in Madison, we've got a lot of factories. They all have IT um, that are needed, and those positions come open quite often just because um, the uh, groups are always growing. So as they grow, each department needs to grow, and IT is a major one of those because we take care of everything everybody touches, basically. If it plugs into a wall, we fix it and we make sure that everybody can continue doing their job without any interruptions.